Fucking thing. Jim's new home. Yeah. Well, you know what? Out there, they don't deteriorate. Yeah. They sunbake, but they don't deteriorate. So you got shit from the 70s with 16,000 miles on it. Some 90 year old guy owns it. Mm. Where did kitty cats go? What the hell is that? That conversation for my little girl? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Feet long and eight feet wide, these were truly rolling home. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Sometimes you wake up with this one. Friday morning, it's really humid, or Thursday morning. Every winter on a fucking house. Yeah. The outside was soaking wet. Couldn't see out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's 70s. Screams the 70s. There's no turbo, there's no shag. You can't buy this. Oh, I can fix all that. I mean, don't get it wrong. It's nice. How much? Let's ask you 22. Okay, which isn't a bad price. Have you test drove it? 22,000? Yeah, absolutely. Everybody that knows me knows how to make this. All right, enough of this shit. You ready? You got your stuff or anything, Scott? You got your food gobbled up, Scott? The food the cat left for you anyway, I should say. <laughs> the other phone would have been like, no, 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 don't throw it. Ah, check it down. Yeah, I was just throwing that, you know. You guys sitting down? Yeah. Puppy, puppy, don't worry. All right. Oh, we can do that now. What happened? Uh, Instead of cutting the cheese. Please don't cut the cheese. Mike does enough of that for everybody. Oh, yeah, you can do it all night. Uh, well, we got a good supply of earplugs here, I see. Fix it, Scott. No, it's a it's a door sweep. Oh. And then, then you know something like that. What's that? Mike's strategic soda supply over here. <laughs> Look at this, all prepared and ready to go. Go get it at the local store too. I could, but Oops, what I'm not doing. making a mess. Yep, I'm trying. Is uh, Walmart cheaper? Uh, yeah, probably some, some, some things. Other things, the price is not that far apart. All right, Mike. Till next week. Yeah. 
Oh, it's nice and cool out here. Damn. Yeah. Shades of fall in the middle of August. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. I don't want to be reminded of that. I just hope we don't, we don't get banged again later on, you know? Oh man, I know. I have something else already. Whole damn summer's almost gone. It's almost time. All right, Mike, take it easy. Almost time for uh, Labor Day there. Mm. What's um mean? Hmm? What's that all about? What? He said, mmm. I didn't say nothing about food. He said, it's almost Labor Day. Oh, I get it. What? You're thinking about the Labor Day barbecue. No. Well, I'm always <laughs> looking forward to a barbecue. Yeah, no, there's no fucking surprise there. <laughs> Uh, so you want to visit Pripyat? Hmm. They'll take you there. You visit Ukraine, they'll, they'll give you a tour. Yeah. You can hire people to drive you out there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shave off some uh, years. Yeah, what the hell. You can poke around the abandoned empty buildings, look at all the animal skeletons, check out the power plant, lead against the containment uh, thing they got there. Can you even see where we're going? Because this yeah. is deer country here. Man, he's just waiting to go bouncing in front of you. What's happening the other night? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, this whole situation is fucked up. I remember when that Three Mile Island shit was going on in the 70s. You know, that, that was... That was scary yeah, shit. It was Even right? yeah, yes, it was. And that was the closest we ever came in so far in the U.S. to a really serious nuclear accident. I mean, Three Mile Island was a nuclear accident. They did have a meltdown and shit, but it wasn't. It was contained. It wasn't a, an explosion, you know, like Chernobyl yeah. was or Fukushima was. What was that movie, The China Syndrome? That was about something like Fukushima almost happening. Basically, it was like, it unfortunately had, it came out at the same time as Three Mile Island was going on. So people were seeing this shit in the movie theaters and it's happening in real life. Mm -hmm. And that was fucked up. And people were scared, you know? President Carter actually went out there Two, three mile island, the facility itself, to tour it. I mean, he understood all that shit because he was a nuclear engineer. I remember, I remember watching Saturday Night Live. <laughs> well, there was nothing really funny about Three Mile Island, but we were very lucky because we could not afford to have a Fukushima or a Chernobyl happen in the middle of the U.S. That would be beyond bad. How'd we fix it? Uh, smart people doing the right things managing to shut it down contain the reaction before it got out of hand too far and it was years before they actually realized how far it had gone because they had to send cameras in as a matter of fact we can watch that documentary next week through my island that's on YouTube also you know at least with Chernobyl you had one small city in the immediate vicinity. You know, there were millions of people close enough to be affected by it, obviously, but you didn't have the situation we have here. We have nuclear facilities right smack in the middle of 100 million people, basically. I mean, between the cities in, in Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, where, where Connecticut. Was, it? was that over by Harris, Yeah, it's uh, not too far from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, which is the Pennsylvania state capital. You know, it's. Uh, Philadelphia, you know, all of these cities with massive... Ah. Oh, yeah, man. Ah. Oh, that was nasty. Ah. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> you, need to, you need to pull over and vomit, Scott? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I was smelling it back there. Like, <laughs> it's a figment of my imagination. Uh, Jesus. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> oh. Skunk attack. 
Did, did you see it? I saw it. The camera saw it too. Oh. Red meat in the damn road, all ground up oh. like hamburger. Oh. <coughs> oh. Smells. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Every fucking Saturday night. And without fucking fail. We're probably going to get another one on the way home. Christ, I was smelling it. Down, I was like, no, nah, maybe it's my imagination. <laughs> it was getting stronger. I didn't say anything. Oh, my God. Oh, it's off. God, gee, I knew I smelled something. See, I told you I smelled something. <laughs> That's got to be three miles from Mike's house. Right around the corner. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Your own little Chernobyl back there. Yeah. That was worse. Oh, God. Vomititis. <laughs> That's the big worry with fucking Indian Point, also. I don't know. If we ever had a disaster there, think of the number of people that live just within 50 miles of that plant. You know, you got 8 million people in New York City. You got 200 and what is the population of our county? 250? Oh, 250,000 people just in our county alone? Something like that? And Westchester County, which has got to be over five, maybe 600,000 because you got Yonkers, White Plains, you know, and all that. Maybe more, more than a million, probably. And like I said, Mike, before you got all the cities in New Jersey that are close in, in, these, in the zone. I mean, we run our plants a hell of a lot safer <coughs> than they were doing over there, as you saw in the documentary. Well, the what was going there. On. Well, that was the Soviet Party system. You know, to be promoted to important positions like this, you had to be able to be a good party man, which means you can spout off the political bullshit and do all the right political things and have all the right political friends. Never mind, do you have the the real training to do the job? You know. Mm. That's who they promoted, the party man. That was and, and always the, yeah. the problem in Soviet Russia. That was always the, the problem. The supervisor goes to jail. Yeah. He was in bed. He, he, he goes to jail. Yeah. Nice. But he wasn't the party man. <laughs> yeah, that was the corruption in the Soviet system from top to bottom. And then people doing research on the uh, dead fetuses of the gerbils. You're going to jail. The ones who too. told the truth, yeah. Oh, look at this. Mutated uh, babies. Oh, oh, you're going to jail for five years. Yeah. Now, our system is far from perfect, and there's lots of cronyism here, too. But it's a lot harder to get promoted to positions like that unless you actually do have the education to be able to handle a job under our system. You know, our political parties are only allowed to go so far with their crony system of appointments and shit like that. You know, you're not handed the job of supervisor of a nuclear power plant because uh, you're a Democratic fundraiser or a Republican fundraiser or some shit like that. You actually did have to attend university and be a nuclear engineer of merit. You know, somebody who was exceptionally good at, at what they do. But under the Soviet system, that shit happened constantly. Mm. And it held them back a lot, too. Not just, you know, the Stalin era when they were killing their best and brightest, you know, <laughs> but uh, later on when they were promoting their dumbest. It's a miracle they had any fucking advances at all after a while with that kind of shit going on. <coughs> so tight. No, it was a cough. Oh. I'm still coughing up skunk. Uh. Oh, it's awful. At least you didn't run him over. Imagine if you had coal car contaminated with skunk juice. That would be nasty.
course, the Soviets had more than one nuclear accident. Mm. Chernobyl was only the biggest. K-19. Well, no, that, that was a nuclear accident at sea, small, contained. It wasn't gigantic like Chernobyl was, but they had some other land-based nuclear accidents, too. It just wasn't as spectacular or was so remote that it, you know, have the same impact. But, you know, they had plenty of disasters going on, but they hid them and covered them up. They never covered, told... They covered up the death toll to count. Yes. So, it was, so there is no official count, but what's the estimated? Thousands. Tens of thousands. They, they know that. How am I hitting? I don't know. I heard glass. I don't know what so it was. So I saw glass shining in the shoulders. And Maybe I somebody had an accident. Yeah. No, you know, I said, it's a dead deer. Did you see all the blood? Oh, no, I wasn't yep, paying attention. Yep, a dead deer. Yep. So, oh, well, yeah, I saw hopefully glass. Hopefully it was a deer. And, uh, yeah, glass, and then there was blood all over, you know? strange place to build a facility like that but I can't imagine how many millions tens of millions of dollars it's gonna to take to refurbish those buildings tear them down no. I mean have you ever seen the YouTube videos of that place no because some people have sneaked inside there and uh, gone around uh, and it is a disaster absolute total disaster the place is extremely deteriorated the paints peeled off doors and windows gone the you know, floors are oh it's a real mess. Maybe the brick shell is okay, but they got a lot of work to do in there. Who the hell's funding this? The college with a lot of money, apparently. A lot of money. And plus, it's a mental institution, a haunted mental what? institution. You know, who the hell wants to go to school there? speaker tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I just some crazed, lobotomized fucking ghost that was tortured. And, oh, oh my god. They still got real life patients coming back there. Sometimes to visit, so I'm told. They're really? Yeah. Remember, the place hasn't really been closed that long. You know, we're only talking about 23, 24 years. So, you know, there are people who are still very much alive and, and ambulatory today who were there at that time. Let's go back to the good old days and take a walk around memory lane. Yeah. <sighs> you know, hiding in the tunnels and everywhere else. And what the fuck are they going to do with that asbestos? That place is uh, loaded with it. Miles of tunnels under there, well, of piping rather, wrapped with that shit. It's what I love. These all these videos on YouTube, but they, they got hundreds and hundreds of them of people going into these abandoned houses and abandoned buildings, yeah. exploring urban exploration. They call it. And you see them sometimes. They're just wandering around. They're poking around in basements, and you see the freaking pipes are covered with asbestos. And you want to yell at them? I say, dumbass, that's <laughs> asbestos over there. You're breathing in, stupid schmuck. They don't know, apparently. They're too fucking <clears throat> stupid to have figured it out. I mean, it's a hundred-year-old building with white crap wrapped in you know, yeah. What do you think that is? Fibrosis. Yes. Or well, actually, it's not fibrosis. The other one is fibrosis. Uh, mesothelioma. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Tumors and shit and fucking lungs and everything else. Oh. And you're deliberately exposing yourself to that without protective gear. Mm -hmm. That's just amazing. Kicking around in the... Oh. And that's what those uh, microfine fibers that the miners get with the, with the yes, machine there. Yes, exactly. You need respirators, you need body suits, every other damn thing to, to handle that stuff, stuff safely. And they're in there drilling in the turn of the century with the newfangled uh, yeah. thing there. And then I, I love the ones where they just walk into people's houses. Yeah. You know, they, they, they see a house where nobody is currently living in, 
and they decide it's abandoned, so they just walk in. I mean, it's a hoarder's house too. That, Some, that's well, no, I mean, there's all the, literally, like I said, hundreds and hundreds of these oh. videos on there. But some of these, some of these places are obviously been abandoned for many, many years. They've fallen apart. They got holes in the floor, everything like that. But for every one like that, there's another one where the house is in solid condition. You know, and they're wandering around in somebody's house. Somebody owns this place. You're you're trespassing. You get arrested for doing that shit. And they don't seem to care. Worse yet, in some places you get shot for doing that shit. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, who all these motherfuckers stealing copper out of the? Yeah, well, those are looters. But the, 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 these people are not doing that. They're just, they're just videoing. You know, they're doing their urban exploration thing, and they're not stealing shit. But they are breaking and entering. There's no doubt about that. Not all of these properties look all that abandoned in many cases. Just because you find a door open on, on somebody else's property doesn't mean you can saunter in like you own the place, you know? <laughs> You're not the one paying taxes there. you got no right to be there. Apparently, they were never taught that by their parents. And I'm sure plenty of them have probably been arrested <clears throat> doing that shit. But I saw someone do it on YouTube. I thought I could do it too, you know? Okay. You saw someone on YouTube jump off the Brooklyn Bridge. Did you do that also? You know. Mm. You see some of Mike's pictures he had there. Of Terry? Not her. No. The, the, the fucking uh. You know, his uncle's stuff, the no. cars, all the wrecks and stuff. No, I've seen A couple something. of them had dead bodies and shit in them. The man with the checkered trousers. All you see is his, you know, his bottoms of his legs and his feet sticking out under the blanket. Looked like about a 1974 Monaco. Wrapped around a fucking tree, right on the driver's side, Took right on the driver's door. Now, who the hell knows? They don't say how the accidents happened or whatever, but it wasn't a wintertime accident, so who knows? It didn't appear to be raining either. Maybe he'd be drinking or something. You never know. I was asleep at the wheel. Cut off by somebody. He's away with it as long as he has. It's amazing he's lived as long as he has. I mean, not to have killed himself in an accident up till now or killed himself with alcohol and drugs. Uh, he's somehow has managed to survive this far. It's amazing he has. Who's got a worse looking liver, the Chernobyl people or him? You know, I don't think nuclear radiation particularly affects the liver in any specific way, other than the usual cancers. You know, cirrhosis of the liver is caused by alcohol poisoning, long term alcohol poisoning. And I'm sure Chicky is well on the way to it. <laughs> you know, that, that's just what happens to alcoholics in the end. They destroy their livers with the, with the constant drinking. Some manage to hold out longer than others, but sooner or later, they all get it. But uh, exposure to radiation like that kills you in other ways much quicker. You know, the cancers are going to hit your thyroid. They're going to they're gonna hit your lymph nodes. They're going to they're hit your fucking, every, your balls, every, everywhere like that. All the easiest spots. Pancreas. You know, if the radiation doesn't flat out kill you just from the radiation itself, massive radiation exposure will kill you very quickly. You know, the kind of exposure those firemen got when they ran into the burning plant killed them in days and weeks, not in months or years. You know, they're, they're, the firemen, they said, died within hours. Some did, but they said it was a few held, some held out for weeks, but they all died. The 25 men, they all died. <coughs> and it literally, decom you decompose alive. Worse than Ebola, you know, it just, it rots you alive. Everything, your hair falls out, your skin starts to fall off, your internal organs decompose and liquefy, you, oh, every, everything, you lose brain function, and finally you just expire, mercifully at some I like point. like the two fishermen, well, they decided to stay and watch the Yeah, well, you know show. what? This is what happens when the population is, is not educated about what is going on in these places and about the technology and what could happen. They just don't understand what they're seeing. They don't realize they're watching their own deaths happen. Yeah, yeah they said they what they threw up and then died. Yes, they started throwing up and then they got very, very sick and they died. They were the lucky ones. They died fast. Not fast enough. You know, I would prefer a bullet in the head at that point. 
because it's going to be an agonizing few hours before you finally expire yeah. or days. Well, they said before sun up, right? Well, they said they were all black from the yeah. When morning came, they were all black. <laughs> yeah. The radiation cooked them alive. Ugh. Rattly coon. Yep. Yeah. Not a skunk that time. It's a horrifying way to die. Uh, Hope they enjoyed the light show. Yes, they did. They, they watched the pretty lights. All night. Yep. Until sun up, and then, and then they noticed all their skin was completely yeah. black. And they would... But not to have evacuated that city for almost a day and a half after the blast happened. You know, that's, that's the criminality of the Soviet system right there in action. Desperately trying to find ways to contain the situation and not admit what had happened, you know, and hide it until they realized that they couldn't. It was too big for that, and they, then they had to act. But mm. yeah, scumbags fucking could have evacuated right away, started immediate evacuation. Don't know if that would have actually saved anybody, but it might have. Wouldn't have done much good. Depends. I mean, the people didn't, the whole city didn't die, but. The rates of cancer, I'm sure, are tremendously higher than they had to be. All right, how they describe with the pilots, uh, with the helicopters. They all died, saying, yeah. All right, go take a break, go get something to eat. Then they threw up and, uh, yeah. and died. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. First things that happens is you cannot keep anything down or in. Just like the captain of the carnival ship got the coast guard calling up. He declared emergency. Quit calling here. Don't yeah. call here anymore. Yeah, we, we got it under control. Nothing to worry about here. Move along. Don't call here anymore. You call yeah. again. I ain't answering the phone. Yeah. Meanwhile, the ship's practically on one side, you know. Yeah. One million nine. Get back on your ship. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Captain, yeah. get back on your ship and direct the rescue. Or evacuation. He's in a lifeboat, jumps in a cab, checks into a first class hotel. Uh, yeah. Whatever happened to that motherfucker? Oh, he's been charged. He's gonna stand trial. A few people have already been convicted. They pled guilty. Oh, yeah. For, for a deal, yeah. They're going to do a couple years to a couple months, whatever whatever it is. The first officer, I think, was one of them. Who was smelling a skunk again. God damn it. Where? I smell it. You. Damn. Probably <laughs> go a different way. Didn't matter. <laughs> smell it? I don't smell anything. See it, don't mean it ain't there. Damn. <laughs> I thought I'd do a change up. Yeah, out to get you. That was more spray, not roadkill. Yeah, well, they don't all get run over. Jeez, I think enough of them would be killed and ran over. I don't know how quickly they breed, but probably pretty fast. I just one of nature's critters with a unique defense mechanism, all their own. Two cops. Yeah, well, probably shift change or something. Good time to blow up a stoplight. We're in no rush to catch up to them. <laughs> Well, you'll see them in a minute. They'll be hiding somewhere. I just hope they're not going down 312. Why? Well, that's the way we're going. So? You're not doing anything illegal, Scott. You're not driving while intoxicated. You're actually wearing your seatbelt. You're obeying the speed limit and traffic regulations. They have absolutely no reason to bother you. Let's see. Oh, good. They're going the other way. Wait, they're braking. Whoop. One's going in. And, yep, they're both going yeah. in. Probably going into Chico's for dinner. Or oh, they're not open. Somebody, oh, they're in the ski um, house. Probably, yeah. Oh, they're waiting for you to catch up. 
So that guy in the blue Honda, he's nervous for some reason. We gotta pull him over. Yeah, see? Oh boy. I don't like this. <laughs> Why are you so nervous about the police? You are not a scofflaw. Or are you? Are you wanted for something you're not telling us about? Are there wants and warrants out on you somewhere? I can understand the likes of Terry and such, you know, <laughs> ducking the police as much as possible, but... So, ma'am, how much have you had a drink tonight? Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm gonna walk the line. For film capacity, you're gonna put another roll of film in there. When I roll, but you know, I mean, the capacity on the chip, but there should be plenty. I took the same exact amount of foot, you know, shooting time on the way up there. Why the hell would it be telling me there's only three minutes left on the fucking tape? Doesn't make any sense at all. And I deliberately erased everything that was on it. It's plenty of room. Well, it doesn't matter, I guess. Almost home anyway. I can always switch over to the other to internal memory and get this the rest of the way. Or hopefully nothing will happen. Uh, Unless they catch you speeding or blowing a traffic signal, no. Driving without your seatbelt. You don't want to do nothing stupid like that at this hour of the night. Mm. Well, this time of night is when the drunks are meandering their way home. So I know it's a good time to go drunk hunting. No, Chickie would be on foot and he can't drive no more. Hey, well, unless he's in jail somewhere. He may have gotten locked up, I really don't know. It's too sick to go. I mean, he's too sick to go. I was too sick to go. Oh, you? Oh. I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm too sick to go, you know. Well, you can always visit him in jail. Yeesh. A well, county jail's not that bad to visit him in state prison. Well, he's, getting, getting, he's getting quality cooking, from what I'm hearing. <laughs> Sean, yeah. Is he still. Uh... As far as I know, he is. Mike didn't say anything about him leaving there, so I guess he's still working over there. Three squares a day. Yeah. All paid for by the taxpayers. I'd give moldy bologna and stale water. Yeah. Oh, like in uh, Arizona? Yeah. You know Maricopia what? Pr prison is not supposed to be a pleasurable experience. It's punishment. And why should they live high on the hog when I'm eating fucking tube steak and, you know, shit at home? Enough of that crap. Shut it down now before I run completely out of footage.